Hello everyone. Oh god, that is actually rather intense music. I wasn't expecting that. Anyways. Okay, that ended abruptly. Anyways, we're here today with the Wizard 101 Death tier list. I am actually kind of excited because Death is my favorite school, probably nowadays. And uh, to me, that means a lot. You know, I do, I do like having Death as my favorite school. Uh, I have a level 100 Death. It's pretty poggers. Anyways... We're getting into this tomorrow. Probably won't be a tier list, actually. It'll probably be another, like, thought video or, like, kind of, you know, me talking video. And then the day after that will be the balance one. And then we'll be done with tier list for probably a little bit. But we're going to get started. So the first one's Age of Reckoning, which is the four pip bubble thing, which, if you don't know, I've been kind of giving those a C tier because I feel like that's kind of what they are. Pierce and Critical aren't. Pierce is good. Critical isn't as good nowadays. I just feel like usually it would be a little bit of a waste to use this. I wouldn't consider it to be, you know, the best thing to you. But, you know, either way, that is, you know, that that's okay. I, I think it's not bad. It's not the best. Um, it's something, you know, which which is which is something in of itself. You know, it's, it exists. Um, I probably wouldn't use it, though. So that's why it's a C tier. Um, summon a minion. I put the first ones in F. I'll put this one in, you know what? I'll put this one in, uh, E tier. And then the Avalon 5 pip one, which is somewhere on here that I cannot see. It's right here. I'll put that in a D tier. I feel like that's pretty fair. I feel like, um, I wouldn't use them. Especially as a, actually, you know, I'm going to move these one down one. Because, especially as a death, you're probably not going to need minions as much. Because you won't need a distraction because you're getting healed constantly by the opposing spells so you know i think that's fair avenging fossil i personally don't use it it's um a solid amount of base damage and then plus an overtime on all enemies i'll put that at like b tier i personally don't think it's the best death spell i wouldn't even really use it on my death but it exists bad juju for me is an s tier i feel like both in pvp well okay not in pvp nowadays the 25 percent health is a big debuff but in pve it can be extremely useful on certain bosses and i feel like that's very evident you know on the bosses that have the cheats that do an insane amount of damage it's almost a necessity so i would definitely consider that a solid s tier spell banshee three pip you know i've probably been putting those in the c i feel like the three pip spells are kind of meh they're not the best not the worst same with the one pip spell so i'll put dark sprite there as well i feel like they're both like iconic spells but personally, I don't find them to be the most useful since they kind of... I, I've never really much liked 3-pip spells. I think the 4-pip spells are a bit better. Beguile, uh, I don't think that's really that useful. I guess it can be useful in PvP, I think. Um, is there a Beguile that lasts more rounds? It doesn't look like there is. But, you know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put that in the B tier. I can see how it could be helpful. It's not the best spell in the world, but... Um, especially on maybe like, I don't know, if you could potentially use that on an enemy that has a cheat, you could kind of make them cast it on themselves. I don't really know. I, I don't know how that works. Maybe like Belloc. Is that a Belloc strategy? You could make him cast a raw on himself. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu, sorry. It used to be... See, the problem is that the, da the damage has been reduced significantly, which to me isn't bad isn't the best i would probably consider this s tier but it could go a i'll put it in s tier temporarily i think cthulhu is a really good spell i really enjoy it and i love the fact that they reduced the spell animation the reduction of the spell animation time has helped that spell so much curse is kind of meh I i'll actually put it at a d tier because the the 20 is kind of hard it's kind of annoying but it's not the worst in the world so you know i think d tier is fair uh, Dark Pact is more of a B tier, definitely a decent blade, uh, and you know, is a good spell overall, I feel. Deathblade S tier, it does 40%, 40, uh, 40 which is really good, which, you know, I feel like putting it in S tier is pretty fair. As a death, you're going to be wanting to use it. I mean, just using a sharpened blade and a normal blade is better than a faint already, so there you go. The converts, as I've been doing, A tier for mass convert, B tier for non-mass convert, regular convert, I feel like it's decently fair as a death. Death shield, I'll probably put that at E tier. I, I feel like 
Actually, you know what? I'll put that at D tier. You know why? Because I bet you that you can use that with things like Dark Pact and stuff as kind of a strategy. I personally would not, but I feel like it could be useful to do something like that. Uh, De Death Spear, I've been putting those in F. I'm still going to put it in F. I just don't personally like the Spear spells. Um, I don't really like the Pierce. I feel like it's not that good. Uh, Death Trap, I'll put that one level above Curse. I've personally never been a big fan of traps, but it obviously isn't the worst trap in the world with the plus 30. It's better than the plus 25 traps. Deer Knight, I used to consider this probably A or S tier. Nowadays, it's more of a B tier spell for me because Ship of Fools exists now, which already knocks it down a tier in of itself because Ship of Fools is just so much better than it, just overall. If you disagree, you just... It, you can't because ship of fools does almost the same amount of damage as it plus the fact that it return heals and only costs four pips so i feel like just overall you know in the time that you can use two deer knights you can use uh three ship of fools which kind of evens it out so i feel like deer knight is you know what i'll put it at a because it is useful for deaths still to craft it i'm not saying to not craft it i'm just saying that ship of fools is much better and you should definitely go for that once it's available um dear knight is no longer the best death hit all spell um so i'll put it there uh ship of fools i'm gonna rank as an s it's not actually on this tier list but i will rank it at s it is a very good spell probably one of the better ones or best spells in the game at this point the hit all for four pips plus heal back is just really good so i'll put that there doom and gloom can be useful i'll put it at b specifically just for uh you know pvp it could be useful on bosses that cheat heal it could be useful and on malastare in dark more it can be useful you probably want to use the tc version but this version works as well so b tier is solid um i don't know what this is called but the shield that's these two i'll put that in d pvp it could be useful definitely not that bad pretty good uh von katzenstein uh i'll probably put it at the same tier as avenging fossil they do similar damage for similar pips but it does give half back actually you know i could uh eh, i kind of i like this better than avenging fossil but at the same time i can't really hmm hmm sorry i'm thinking very heavily i don't really know how to go about that it's kind of hard for me because i feel like they're not on the same level but at the same time they kind of are you know i think both of them at b tier works at the very least maybe avenging fossil could go down to c tier if i did anything would be avenging fossil down to c tier but i'll leave it like that for now empower uh do 300 damage for three pips i've never found much use out of it obviously the tc is godly because it's used as a source of money but um i feel like c tier for empower is not that bad actually it's decent uh faint is an obvious s tier any decent wizard needs faint in their deck and that goes for all schools not just death you need to get faint in your deck if you do not have it in your deck it's definitely a really good spell um and you should have it ghoul for me is a b tier with enchant the plus 175 that means it does 300 plus half uh at low level which can to be just so good against enemies it, it's like all tier two spells i've been putting in b realistically plus the fact that it heals back it's just so ridiculously good headless horseman four pips for uh, quite a bit of damage is actually probably an a tier spell uh death definitely has a lot of spells like that where it's just like a really good spell i mean it does this it does more damage than goat monk which costs five pips so i feel like it's definitely a really good single hit spell and you should definitely go for it on a death if you can, which, you know, it comes out during Halloween time, drops from Lord Master pretty frequently. So go ahead. Um, What's this called? It's the it's the uh, thing re debuff, the health uh, the thingy thingy debuff. Let me let me look it up. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Uh, it's not called infection, is it? It might be called infection. infection it is called infection i am a god tier death player um definitely a decent spell not the best in the world it could be it's, it's the my problem is that doom and gloom exists which is kind of just like a permanent infection so i'll probably put that in c tier i feel like that's decently fair king artorius if you've watched my videos you know i love it its spell animation is 
amazing. Um, it does quite a bit of damage on almost every single uh, enemy or any every single school except for like myth but either either way it's still pretty good um i feel like it's definitely deserves to be s tier it's definitely it's one of its best hits um the only problem i can see is that you might want to use scarecrow more than it but i feel like as a single hit it's definitely s tier uh it could go a tier but i personally think it's an s tier lord of the night my problem with this is it's just vampire but worse because it costs five pips so you know i think that that's fair there and vampire will go up into b tier um obviously it heals quite a bit more but it costs five pips i feel like five pips is just too much of a cost so i'll put that uh like that i feel like that that's decently fair as a whole mass infection it's just infection but slightly better i guess you could probably put that at b tier uh personally i wouldn't consider it to be you too 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 useful but it can be especially in pvp so you know what i'll put it there i feel like that's fair reduced threat that's going solid f tier as you know i really don't like it plague is a d tier spell obviously minus 20 for all is good but with uh virulent plague which i uh, is right here that's quite a bit it, honestly it, it's even an a tier spell it minus 40 to all enemies is actually really good so you know i feel like that's a tier you know what we'll put plague in c tier instead i feel like that's fair uh plague is a very good spell the minus 20 to all and then minus 40 to all for virulent plague is really good so you know what i like it poison not my favorite in the world but i feel like it's a solid c tier spell it's not that bad it's pretty good so i think that's fair uh the cat thing for pip with shadow pip is for me um solid a i like it i think it's a good spell overall it does decent amount of damage does more damage than obviously king artorius and call of cthulhu but it does cost a shadow pip which is annoying so i'll put it at a tier i feel like that's decently fair sacrifice is also an a tier spell it's a healing spell for death to use on their friends i found it come in handy as a death i think it's really good especially since death absorbs health from enemies so much that you can afford to sacrifice that health i feel like that's fair and even using it on yourself it's still a good healing spell obviously you want less pierce and more resist uh because my death for example pierces entirely through his own resist plus crits and does 800 damage to himself when he uses sacrifice so you know don't be my death scarecrow nowadays it does more than this it does 590 at base so it's just obviously an s tier spell scarecrow is god tier nowadays it heals you so much it's what you want it tier 7 spells already are good scarecrow has probably become one of the best now scarecrow and orthrus are both really fantastic uh they up their schools level so much like with or without orthrus and without scarecrow being the way they are now compared to what they used to be myth and death used are were worse off significantly than they are but i definitely think scarecrow is a solid s tier spell really good um bartleby uh well that's like mortis i think uh 975 death damage two times if you okay i think it's okay has 33 percent or less health scion of death i don't think that's that useful as a death you're probably not going to be that low on health so I can't see it being useful. I, I would recommend using really any of these spells before using this, which is kind of, you know, I feel like it kind of deserves to go there. Um, Skeletal Dragon, I've never really liked. I think it's like, it, it's not bad, obviously, but I think it's a C tier spell. C tier is not that bad. Um, I feel like, you know, it, C tier is a solid uh, place, so don't think that i'm ranking it in a bad place that's that's average so i feel like skeletal dragon being there is fine i personally wouldn't use it as much in combat skeletal pirate not bad i personally never really like five pip obviously if you have headless horseman this is useless entirely so get headless horseman when you can and skeletal pirate will become completely useless Steel Trainer Health from Minion. I'll put that at E tier. Probably not the best. Actually, you know what? That's an F tier because realistically, you have so many healback spells that 300 health is not that good at all. 
Um, death Dispel, I'll put that at C tier where I've been putting most of the Dispels. I feel like Death Dispels are kind of not as good as some of the other ones, but they're not bad. So I'll put that there. Um, Wing Sorrow. It's actually pretty good. That's, you know, a, quite a bit of damage and then a minus to all enemies. I feel like that is a solid A tier spell. Pretty good. Not bad. And then Wraith for me is probably a B tier. And that's all that's on here. I feel like that's a pretty solid list. And you can kind of see, I think Death is a solid school. And you can see that considering that literally 90% of the spells are over C tier. I feel like that's worth mentioning that there's only nine spells out of the 40 here or so 50 that are you know below c tier i feel like that's worth mentioning obviously ship of fools goes into s tier um i don't think there's any more i i yeah i'm pretty sure that's literally all the rest of the spells i think that's fair so I feel like, you know, this is a good tier list. This has been one of my favorites to make. I feel like it kind of shows how much I like death. Uh, definitely let me know if you disagree with me or agree with me in the comments. Uh, drop a like at the sub button. Tomorrow will be a, will be a video I'm actually excited for. It's, uh, it's a more, not rant video. It's not a rant at all, actually. It's praising something. It's one of my favorite things in Wizard 101 recently. So stay tuned. Watch that. And I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. See you in the next video.